Am I the asshole? For calling my sister for treating her child better than me. My sister taken my brothers and I in when we were just 4 f 5 meters 6 meters and she was only 19 at the time and did sacrifice a lot for us including her boyfriend she been with since she was 12 who broke up with her when he found out that she'd be applying for custody of us because he wasn't ready to take on such a responsibility. My sister at one point in time was working three jobs to even be able to provide for us, I never went without food or clothes or even toys. But the one thing I went without was growing up in a nurturing environment. My sister was always stressed and irritable, I also felt like she had resentment towards us at times for having to be stuck with us rather than pursuing her dreams. Like for example if we did something as small as spilling a glass of milk or breaking something she'd have an overreaction yell and lecture us about how hard she works to get it and how we need to stop being so careless even if it was just an accident. My sister is now doing much better in life and no longer have to work and is happily married, she has a two-year-old and is pregnant with her second. I seen how she treats them and I can tell she loves them very much, I even watched her toddler spilled a glass of milk and she was so clam and loving about it, she even jumped on this new gentle parenting trend. She wasn't like that with me so I called her out on it in front of my brothers and her husband I told her that it's unfair that I didn't get the gentle side of her rather I got the harsh and cold side of her when I was just a child. She was shocked to hear me say that and started crying saying she did her best with what she had. My brothers surprisingly stood up for her and told me that if she that bad then why am I still living with her and that she was amazing caretaker and took us when our own mother abandoned us so how could I be so selfish and accused her of any less. It got really contentious so my sister ended up excusing herself to her room but in the end my brother whom I'm really close to or angry with me. So now I'm here wondering if I was wrong for calling my sister out. You're stressed out, overworked. Teenage sister wasn't the nurturing parent she's become as an adult, so you want her to treat her kids the same way? Christ, you're the asshole. You should be apologizing, thanking her for giving up so much for you praising her for somehow becoming a wonderful mother. You're the asshole your sister. Dropped her whole life at 19 to take care of three kids? I understand being upset at having a less than perfect childhood, but childhood doesn't magically stop at 18. She was still a kid when she was taking care of you three. No shit she was stressed and having major difficulty. And now you're looking at her, finally able to be an adult without the frantic panic and you resent her for now having the support to take care of her children the way she wants to? Up, respectfully you suck. I'd kiff I can call you Anna. You're hurt and you've been through a lot in life but so has your sister. Might be good to talk to her and have an open talk and open heart and try to understand each other better. Wish you luck with your family and I hope your pain eases. For calling her out. Yes you're the asshole. You aren't an offer being hurt that you never got to grow up in a loving environment. That is a legitimate and painful loss to live with. These two things can simultaneously be true you deserved better as a child but also that your sister isn't an offer not being able to provide that. Are you for real? You're the asshole. Your sister is a saint. And you are absolutely T.A. I'm sorry for your childhood troubles, but you're the asshole here. You are holding a 19-year-old to a full-grown adult standards. It sounds like she did the absolute best she could at the time, and being only 19, she probably still had a lot of growing up to do. It's unfair for you to hold this against her. I'm going to say nah. She was in a very tough situation having to care for three kids at 19 all alone. She was stressed. But she did not handle her stress well, and yelled at children over spilled milk. Walking on eggshells as a child because your caretaker is not coping well is a traumatic way to grow up. You're still a minor, so now you see her acting all sweet and gentle with her real kids and that is hard to see. You need therapy. And she needs therapy. And some family sessions with your brothers would be beneficial too. You're not wrong that it's not fair she was a harsh and irritated parent to you. But it's also not fair that she worked three jobs and took in three very young kids at 19. It's fine and normal to feel upset about what you didn't get out of your childhood. But it's worth considering how much has changed in the 15 years since then. How much she's learned grown as a person, and how much less stress she has. Her less than ideal treatment of you was probably the best she could manage at the time. I don't want to label you an offer not fully recognizing that, though. Honestly it's very unfair to both of you. It is not her fault though. She kept you guys together, connected as a family rather than a foster home. She did the best she could, based on the age and circumstances. I do understand how it upsets you to see what you missed out on when you were younger, which is something you may have to work through personally. 
Be happy that she is in a place that she can love and parent comfortably with significantly less stress. Your mother is the reason you are deprived of a childhood, not your sister. I think you might just need some therapy to talk about your problems. Nah. She did the best she could. You were hurt by her actions. Both things can be true. Nah, actually. I think you did need to express to your sister how you felt. But you should probably discuss it with her. She deserves a lot of leeway because of how old she was. But you're allowed to be upset and express that, you deserve gentleness too. Nah. A teenager probably still struggling with childhood trauma is hurt to see that the person who was thrust into parenting her is giving a new child what she needed? 100 Understandable. I hope therapy is accessible to you. And, a teenager deciding to take on the responsibility of parenting three babies? And finding it more stress and hardship than she knew how to handle, struggling? Then doing better when she learned better? Not an awe, either. You're the asshole. Imagine yourself today on taking on three children. She was young and not a parent. You are lucky you didn't wind up in foster care. You owe her a major apology. You're the asshole 100. Your sister wrecked her life purely to support her family and worked three jobs so that you wouldn't want for anything. A 19-year-old doing the job of two parents for people who she chose to take in is obviously not going to be perfect. And you're still living with her. If your sister suddenly died and you had to take in her children, would you be ecstatic about it at all times? You're the asshole. Sure, she might not have been the greatest for you, but she did everything in her power to keep her siblings together. What you could have had was much, much worse. She has grown, she has had new experiences, you cannot shit on your sister for being a good mother. When she took you and your brothers in, she was not your mother, and she didn't know how to be. All she knew was that she had to take care of you. And taking care of three kids at 19? That's insane. Give her a break, she did her best. You're the asshole. I was in the exact situation your sister was in with three siblings when I was 18. Dropped out and worked three shitty jobs. She did the best she could with what she had. Your brother is right. Move out. You're the asshole. Consider what your life would have been like if your sister hadn't made the sacrifices she did. The relationship that your sister has with her own children is naturally different and you are taking your jealousy out on the wrong person. You're incredibly lucky that you had someone like her in your life to step up where your parents' other guardians failed. You're the asshole. Your sister made huge sacrifices at a very young to take care of you and your siblings. If she was working three jobs in order to support three children on her own, she was probably physically and emotionally exhausted, which is why she had much less patience for you than she does with her own child, with whom she is raising with the help of a partner and at a much more mature age. You're the asshole. Your sister was a child raising three children and working three jobs. Yet you never went without. My friend, life dealt you all a poopy hand. Your sister appears to have handled everything with as much love and grace as her 19-year-old self could muster. You know what that is? It's love in action. You should be thankful your sister didn't leave you and your siblings to be wards of the state. You're the asshole. Why don't you try adopting three young kids in a couple of years when you're 19 and see how good you are at it? I'd have to say you're the asshole. Your sister made huge sacrifices and uprooted her life for you and you seem ungrateful. Your brother makes a good point if she was really unloving why are you still living with her? Not trying to excuse her being harsh and cold, but of course she's different as an adult in her 30s compared to being an actual teenager. I understand you feel hard done by, but I think the blame here lies on your mother, not your sister. You're blaming the wrong person. Go lecture your mother for your upbringing instead. She was two years older than you are right now and took on caring for you all no matter what it cost her. Meanwhile here you are and can't get over yourself enough to not be jealous of a two-year-old. I'm sure she did the best she could have. And it probably helps that she has a partner and has evolved as a person. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. Of course your sister is a better parent now. She's an adult and has the support of a spouse. She was just a kid when she started raising you. You're the asshole of course. Not because you can't talk about your hardships growing up, but for how you said it and what you said. Of course it's easier for her to be a stable and loving guardian when she has emotional and financial security several years of growth. Be mindful that she did a lot to give you the best childhood she was able to. You're the asshole. You owe your sister a heartfelt apology. If you don't understand why now, trust me, you will understand why when you are older. What your sister has been able to do is heroic. However I do understand your feelings of abandonment, loss, and lack of nurturing. 
I really hope that you will seek therapy, and can come to a place of peace and love for yourself and for your sister. You're the asshole your brothers are right and your sister did her absolute best in a ridiculously difficult situation. I'm not going to lay on all the reasons because so many people already are doing that in response. I just suggest you sit down with your brothers and find out why they are upset with you. Listen to them, don't interject actually hear what they have to say, because I think it's important for you to hear and truly understand what she did for you and how difficult it must have been for her at that age and at the expense of her own life and future. Then apologies to her. She was a kid raising multiple kids. I couldn't imagine, tbh. I'm sorry that the situation wasn't idea, but you're the asshole. She did a lot better than I could have from the sound of it. If you never wanted for anything, this experience was 100 harder for your sister. You're the asshole. The fact that you're so spoiled to have the nerve to write this, is a testament to how good she has been to you. You have absolutely no right to ever complain about anything from her. You're the asshole sister sacrificed everything at the time to provide for you, no wonder she didn't have the bandwidth to provide the emotional environment you would need. That's not her fault. You're the asshole. Your sister who was barely an adult, took three little kids in, cared for you, worked her goddamn ass of so you had food and everything and you are angry with her because she is kinda happy now? I'm sorry that she wasn't that loving to you, I really am but she did something that most people aren't capable of and most children don't have. She fucking deserves some happiness now. I hope you can find that too. Read what everyone else is saying. You're the asshole. Your sister deserves an apology. I think you're the asshole, while it may be true it seems like your sister sacrificed a lot to care for you and your siblings. However, you aren't in the wrong for your feelings, I think it would beneficial to see a therapist. Best of luck.